fearless. It is a quality that most of us can develop if we overcome the real illusion of our fears. Have you thought of the things that scare you the most? Have you realized that your doubts, indecisions, and excuses may be creating the fear that is preventing you to move forward and be free? Do you feel scared because you feel others that may be judging you or will be making fun of you? Perhaps you feel terrible by being rejected from people. In fact, anyone will feel bad. I think that's very painful. There is pretty much a fear for almost anything you can think of. Most of the most common fears are when we lose someone that we love. Some people have fear to death. Or some people get, you know, fear and insecurities because they feel that they're going to get sick. Some others, they might fear to be having a, a presentation or speak in public. You know, amongst that area of uh, public speaking, uh, some people basically can, can feel rejection as a, one thing that they will fear the most. Being ridiculed or criticized or being made fun of is something that is very, very painful. And all of those things cause fear. Um, there's plenty more. What we should come across from this is that fear is a natural feeling that we all have. So let's better learn from it and understand it. Fear allow us to preserve our species when there's a circumstance of possible threat. For example, imagine that you are in an instance that uh, you could lose your life or where you're in a position that a dangerous animal is trying to attack you. You see, fear is like a mechanism that allows us an alert us in that particular moment so we could prevent these situations. There's three ways that this can go. Basically, or you defend yourself with the fear, or you can escape from it, or you could hide from it. All of these things are meant to help us to survive. This is deeply rooted in our inner self from prehistoric times. However, today nowadays we don't have the same type of extremes, uh, but we yeah definitely feel stress and we feel fear to losing a job, to losing someone, to lose our careers, to lose uh, validation from others. And all of that is very normal. We just, we just have to step back and realize that it might not be the end of the world or the end of ourselves. It's just a temporary situation that we can get through it. So not all of us take the time to acknowledge our fears. So we can embrace it and understand it. Fear to some degree is necessary, but not to the extent of letting opportunities to pass by. Otherwise, the regret will cause more pain. If we face them, we will be able to live in agreement. We will be able to conquer it, or even better, overcome it. Some fear can make us feel polarized or inactive. But at the end of the day, we have a choice to accept the fear to make us not to grow or move on and face it. And hopefully we can conquer it. Just do, just do the step. Go, move forward, little by little. You will start feeling more comfortable. Facing your fears is like a doing exercise. And like any other muscle, with practice, you will make them to grow and you will start feeling a little more comfortable by doing it every day. So 
you know, we might have multiple type of fears. We could try to do at least one every day. You know, it might not go all over, but uh, if we continue doing it, we will be able to feel by facing them, you soon realize that it's not the end of the world and you may not necessarily die from facing them. It is most likely that you will be able to grow from it. Fearless, yes, we can be fearless if we propose ourselves to. But even better, let's dedicate the time to understand it and be self-aware to the situation while preparing and developing our abilities. In that way, so we can be more confident and skillful to deal with. Imagine, create, live. to find me so if you want to you follow me up and I will keep in touch okay take care bye bye enjoy the weather take care champion have a good one see you soon